Okay, so this is my little studio setup. So I've got in front of me my mood board so I can see all the pictures that I'll need. I've got my palette, I've got some paint brushes, I've got some clean water, and then I've got the picture that I trace our session. So you can see the image on there is quite light, not too dark. If you need to get any of these things, oh, <laughs> I also have some tissue, some kitchen roll, if you can find some of that as well, that'd be awesome for you. If you haven't got it, it's not the end of the world. So you might want to stop now and grab those things. Okay, when you've got your paint, you want to get a bit of the paint. And if we use it straight from the tube, even when we go over it, it starts to break. Okay? So we want to add a little bit of water. And you kind of want it to be like the consistency of honey. Okay, so this is still a little bit thin. So I get a little bit more paint in and mix that in. Now remember, acrylic dries super fast. So we wanna make sure that we are putting a bit more water in as well. And enough of the paint. Okay, so now we've got nice clean edges. After every time, you want to wash your brush. So your brush, when it comes out the first time, might still have a bit of paint on. Wash it again. And then if you've got some tissue, wipe it clean on the tissue. Okay? Different brushes for different things. So some of my design I'll need to do thinner. So if I've got a brush like this, this is a number eight size brush, quite a big brush. I can press down quite lightly and get quite a thin line. If I get a bit more paint on the brush, spin my page around. So if I press down lightly, I can get a thin line. If I press down harder, I can spread the paint over a little bit thicker. So a brush like this, it's tapered at the end. If you learn to control it, can be quite good for a range of marks. Remember, as the brush dries out, it'll have less paint on it, okay? So you might want to just get used to painting and controlling the brush just seeing what the brush does okay i'm gonna clean it and then i'm gonna wipe it 
I might want a square brush. So if I'm doing things with a solid line and a clean edge, I can drag the brush horizontally down. Okay, so I drag it and I pull it down. Or I could hold the brush vertically and drag it that way. So this brush is really good for getting neat edges and if you've got a brush that's the same width as a space you're drawing it can be really useful the third brush is one like this so this is a really really small brush and it is a number one not all sets will have a number one in but a number one gives you a very fine detail. So I'm just gonna grab this, cleaning it off on the edge of my little palette here. Get a bit more water on my brush. So I can get really fine lines in. If I wanted more of a pattern more of a fine shape I could use this one this straight edge brush I couldn't use for that so you've got to pick the right tool for what you need when it comes to doing the painting the first thing I'm going to do is look at my whole space look at my palette of colours and then check with my images what's a dominant colour what am I going to use as a dominant colour? What am I going to use as more of a separation colour or something to complement it? So I think I'm going to keep this kind of ready as my dominant colour and then use everything else to complement that. Because from the ones that I've selected, I think that's the most fun. Okay, so I'm just going to keep that in mind. Now with my image, I'm going to think about before I start, I'm just going to stop and think what spaces am I going to colour in and watch colours and why. Now, I might not know everything about my culture yet, but I can at least have a bit of an idea of how can I make sure my culture is reflected and how can I make sure this looks good because I don't want to get that panic in the middle. Okay, so I'll have a little thing about that. So here's what we have in the end. I've added in a little bit of overlapping here and overlapping here and I'm going to continue to do it. But I just want to show you some other options in case you didn't have a thin brush. So feel free to watch the next video if you need to, otherwise just carry on working.